Hello friends and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, the e-commerce news that has just come in uh, wherein they are saying according to the industry estimates during the lockdown the sales of the larger e-commerce platforms have been down by almost 90%. E-commerce firms are urging the government to add items such as laptops, mobile phones under essential goods and services. E-commerce companies are faced a rude shock on the Sunday when the Union Home Minister revoked the permission to sell the non-essential goods from 20th of April. Most of the e-commerce firms which were getting up to a list of non-essential products on their platforms have started refocusing on essential goods and services as in the first lockdown. According to the industry estimates, during the lockdown, sales of larger e-commerce platforms have been down by almost 90%. This is because of the large part of their gross merchandise value, GMV, continues to be focused on the smartphones, consumer electronics, apparels, and large appliances. So now what this means is there is going to be a lot of seller pressures. Sellers can expect too much of pressure from the e-commerce companies. Sellers have to be cautious on selling in this period. Raise your sales very slowly. That, has, that means you should have to ensure that your sales should not just rise up immediately because there is a surge in the orders. There can always be a surge in the orders with the news moving around here and there. Keep your fi stock files being updated in a phase-wise manner. Do not jump your jump to update your stocks by 100%. So to recover from the losses and ensure the business continuity, e-commerce companies over the past few weeks have been ramping up on their uh, online grocery business, a high demand, uh, high in demand but low value and low margin segment. But as the costs continue to escalate, the low margin grocery sales are unlikely to compensate for the losses incurred. Food and grocery businesses still comprises to only 2.5 to 3.5 billion of the overall 38 billion dollar e-commerce sector in India, according to Technopack estimates. About 93 percentage of the sales in the e-commerce are not happening, and are based on the discretionary spends. The traction in the continued businesses by the likes of the online grocery segment still doesn't match the larger e-commerce players not selling most of their inventory said uh, by Ankur Bison, Senior Vice President of Retail and Consumer Products Technopack, a management consultancy firm. An Amazon India spokesman said that the news, new guidelines will disappoint not only the customers whose list of essentials had expanded to the work from the home and the study from home products, but also the thousands of the small businesses, sellers and the manufacturers who had geared up in the last 48 hours to provide millions of people with a safe access to the products. To sellers, please note uh, country first. Your customers will be with you. Everyone is equally confused. The government and the e-commerce companies. Essential commodities extend your best support as a seller. Non-essential goods keep a close watch on the news and adhere to the government norms. On the behalf of the customers and the sellers, we hope that the situation is rectified soon so that the urgent need of the consumers is met and that there is a, rival, uh, that there is a revival in the economic activity, the spokesperson said. Amazon India was one of the first to say that they have temporarily suspended the non-essential services in the late March. To be sure, if the lockdown is lifted on the 3rd May, it is unlikely that such services will fully operate in the major cities such as Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad with a large number of containment zones. The Home Ministry's fresh directive came just after it had given a go-ahead to the e-commerce companies on 15th of April to supply the non-essentials. If the vehicles carrying such products had the necessary permissions and the, fail, and the passes. Since then, large e commerce companies such as Walmart owned Flipkart and Amazon bounced back to action, interacting with the sellers and putting its supply chain and the delivery workforce in place to restart the non essential delivery. We are planning to, uh, to go live in the non essential categories, including the consumer electronics utensils and the apparels, but now we will keep those plans on hold and will double down on the provision of the essential categories and build efforts in that direction. We look to add another 15 to 20 cities uh, of the delivery of the essential items until 3rd May, said uh, Srinivas Mothe, Senior Vice President of PDM Mall. PDM Mall, among the others, are urging the governments to add such as laptops, mobile phones and accessories under essential goods and services. This is very surprising. To ensure that the sellers aren't hurt by the current circumstances, penalties of the non-delivery of the shipments is waived. Further, Snapdeal is also working to help the sellers of the essential goods to come online through the manual support over calls, a Snapdeal spokesperson said. 
Smaller online retailers are also facing the heat. Everyday loss is causing a pileup of the fixed costs, including the wages payable to these small sellers, together with their inventory aging. The opening would have helped inject the liquidity into the system for thousands of small and medium businesses who have equipped with the work online with players like us without jeopardizing the public health. It would have helped clear up the nearly 35,000 crore of estimated product and the large amounts of the cash stuck in the courier networks, said Sachi Mukherjee, founder and CEO of the online apparel shopping portal Lime Road. According to the industry experts, the uncertainty still looming as to when the e-commerce deliveries will return to normal in the, common, in the coming months, companies will require to do 130% of the sales record last year to break even as a business. Technopack's Bison said that from the retail standpoint, discretionary spends will continue to be, uh, to be down by 30% through the year. This is because of the drag effect in the supply chain and the negative sentiment of the consumer spending, he said. So sellers do's and don'ts for this uh, quickly would be do not hurry to sell your stocks, plan your phase by selling, note your procurement is also not going to be so easy and fast, keep a perfect accounting for the COD orders in particular, Acc account for the non-delivered non non-serviced orders cancellation till the next uh, uh, cancellations till the next three months of the operations. Also understand that there will be immense pressures on the logistic partners too.